My name is Kumud Acharya. I'm a research professor here uh, at DRI in the Division of Hydrologic Sciences. I'm also the director for Center for Environmental Remediation at DRI. I was born and raised in Nepal, and my purpose always was to, you know, uh, find ways to uh, solve problems for the people um, of a country like Nepal and, you know, India, Indonesia, or China. You know, the, the, the water quality and water resource problem is really, really uh, serious. My research deals with how do we conserve water, how do we clean water, how do we understand uh, how to utilize these uh, limited resources that we have, that we have better. Uh, Quagga mussels have been a big problem in Lake Mead. Um, they've been attaching on uh, underwater infrastructure such as uh, intake pipes, dams, and causing uh, millions of uh, dollars of damage every year. You know, each adult mussel can reproduce up to a million babies. And not all of them survive, but even if 10% of that muscle, uh, the babies survive, that's gonna be 100,000 um, babies uh, produced by each muscle. And in some places in Lake Mead, we have more than 500, 600, 700,000 muscles per square meter. The water that in Lake Mead is so precious is shared by so many, so many states here on the lower Colorado system. So these muscles are adding to our problem that are, um, you know, the problem of uh, limited water and more people. So we're trying to come up with solutions, coming up with you know, chemical, mechanical, and physical solutions. I've been working in China uh, for the last seven, eight years. Uh, there is a lake called Lake Taihu, uh, located in eastern part of China, which, is, uh, which has about, you know, which has more than 50 million people in its watershed. More than 10 million people uh, in the watershed get drinking water from that lake, and that lake has been undergoing massive eutrophication. Uh, algae bloom and people have been affected. Uh, it was 2007 they had so so much algae growing in that lake that it became an international news and people were uh, really scared. There was a city in China that had no drinking water for a city of five million people. So we're trying to um, come up with solutions to deal with issues like that. DRI and Hohai University in Nanjing uh, established a joint laboratory, international laboratory under a global water initiative. This joint international laboratory, the idea is uh, we've been working in China for the last seven years. Now, how do we um, expand our collaboration from just individual faculty level to include uh, many faculty from DRI? How do we take uh, strength, DRI strength in water and take that strength to China and help solve that problem in Lake Taihu? Similarly, we we hope to bring a uh, number of uh, students, faculty from China to DRI, train them, and so that they can go back and deal with that problem. DRI's role in trying to help solve that problem has been uh, tremendous. I think that people in China, in that, that region, they appreciate what we're trying to do and they want to work with us more. I hope to contribute uh, this technology back to where I came from. That's why I do a lot of my research internationally and I focus in Asia primarily uh, for the same reason. That's my way of giving back to the community where I came from.